Next tonight, new developments in the Nathan Millard case. Police have arrested the person they wanted to talk to about his disappearance and death, but that man was picked up on charges unrelated to the case. News 2's Best Casualty has been asking police all day for more information. She's joining us now. Michael, though, police say they were looking for Derek Perkins on charges unrelated to Millard's case. He was arrested for using Millard's debit card, and we're told a car police believe he stole was found torched not far from where Millard's body was dumped. This man, 45 year old Derek Perkins, is not a suspect in Nathan Millard's disappearance or death, but is facing a series of suspicious charges connected to the case. Those charges include three counts of access device fraud and unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, as well as criminal damage to property, which we learned today, separate from the affidavits police provided, stemmed from him torching a car he stole. Perkins' arrest report says he stole the car in early February. A look through his lengthy criminal history shows he frequently uses others' cars without permission. He also apparently used Millard's debit card several times the day after he went missing. Police have said there's no indication of foul play in Millard's death, though investigators are looking for whoever moved Millard's body after he died. As of now, Perkins is not that man. Last week, District Attorney Hiller Moore told us the person responsible for that will likely face obstruction of justice charges. Again, Perkins has not been charged with that. But when we asked more about the possibility that the burned car was used to transport Millard's body, he said, "Be my logical guess is that's what uh, would be the assumption, but I'm not positive about that." We asked for the affidavit with specific information about the criminal damage to property charges and did not receive it. Also, according to the jail logs, Perkins has not been booked with criminal damage to property, despite what Baton Rouge police said. Michael.